Hi, I'm Andy. We're back with the 1001 Games and More collection, and last time we finished the Windows 95 games section, so we're just going to continue and do the Windows games, and then probably afterwards go through the DOS games 1 and games 2, but for now we're going to do Windows games, and first one I've seen is this Adroid. This is a 32-bit version for Windows NT and 95. Hopefully it'll run. <laughs> um, is a... 3D first person shooter. Test your skills against 15 droids in a battle for world economic domination. Enjoy realistic great graphics. So we'll see. Oh. Uh, we'll see how realistic. I mean, is there even a. It only shows the help. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a search for the EXE, isn't it? So I still haven't cleaned up this, but I feel like it's, it's, it's down here. There it is. So to my pause again, press pause. 3D first person in a, okay. You, need, you may need to learn to controls. You will need to learn, know how to strafe and shoot to be an effective pilot. Sure, to strafe. Uh, hold right down mouse button uh, while walking. Mouse is ex used exclusive. Okay, so it's just mouse movement. So let's. I can't even maximize this. So. Is it working? I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it's working. Uh, let's see. Can I use the uh, keyboard as well? It, it did say. Uh, To move, push to mouse forward, up, up, upward, move backward, back, and... Okay... So, let's unpause this, maybe? Uh, level 1, low detail objects, no color fading. Okay... How do I unpause this? There's no pause button. <laughs> It says right here to pause and press. Oh, I had to press it on the keyboard. Okay, that that's like the first game that uses this. Up oh, there we go. We're moving. Realistic graphics, right? <laughs> oh, am I supposed to get the flag? I got the flag. Is this the? Am I supposed to go to where you are? No. Realistic. Oh, I, there's the droid. Oh, I died. <laughs> Realistic. <laughs> uh, where, where are... Oh, did I get shot again? Okay. So, it seems like... I'm getting shot. I, I, I'm spotting at the same spot, but it turns out that the enemy doesn't like reset, so it keeps shooting me at the same spot. So, I mean, it, it, it oh, there's that's a different one, and we are dead. <laughs> a droid. I mean, if there was a way to maximize the screen and. Uh, if I was actually better, <laughs> then it, it probably would be fun. I, I don't agree, like, I don't know where the economic, world economic domination and the great graphics come into play, but I can see some entertainment to be had with that game. So now let's do Adventure Gamer for Windows 1.0. <laughs> Play and author adventure games. Relive, however, to go, you must. Uh, what? So, is it. Are we making our own games with this or not? Nope. There we go. Yeah, welcome to the. Okay. The training game is a training module. Uh, share version, okay. I think I played this before. 
So we can, I think we can actually make our own game, but uh, the gates of macro hard. I mean, there is also a training game too. Uh, you you were walking along a quiet country lane just now, and there was a weird whistling noise behind you. Suddenly, a large looming shape come, came over your head, stopped immediately in front of you, and before you could comprehend what it was, you started to feel faint. Uh, you remember having some dreams of saving the world from domination by the JCN Macro Hard Corporation, involving wandering through a labyrinth world in the 3.11th dimension in order to find the gates of Macro Hard, behind which was the window of communal pleasure. And can I can I show this? Uh, releasing this window then freed the world from the slavery to the personal computer that caused Macro Hard shares to crash on the world exchange. A lot, a lot of economical stuff. Uh, the dream progressed with many episodes of coming close to death, staving off hunger, and fighting hostile characters including Frankenstein, an enormous rat, a software wizard, a giga reality monster, and finally old Bill himself. I was it talking about Bill Gates? And gathering yourself, you realize that you are now on another country lane, wearing no clothes and with no possessions. The sky is yellow, the sun is blue, but at least the grass and the road are of normal colors. You have a nagging feeling of hunger and thirst. You are cold and would like to go home for a hot bath. However, you get the feeling that your dreams were a premonition of what is to come and you find your way out of this strange place. Looking around further, you notice... Uh, there is a large S painted on the ground instead of a circle. You do not know what it means. To the west is a small hill, and to the east, the lonely lane disappears into the distance. There is a piece of paper lying near you. Okay, so, oh, I I think... Um, back in the day, I think I played this. But... As a kid, I didn't really pay attention to the story or the controls. I just clicked wherever. <laughs> um, let's see. Here is a lonely... There's a long, lonely lane. There is an object here. Uh, it's an escape... Escarpment? Okay. And to the west is a long, lonely lane. Can we... Uh, pick up... Uh, please... Oh, I have to select the object. All right use you open the letter and it reads if you have opened this at the start you have failed okay be careful what you touch around here if you waited until you have got to the electrogenetic enhancer then you have been very sensible Ooh. Uh, to the theme tune of mission also the letter of x so can we restart new game so, I mean, we'll, we'll just pick it up and not open it. There's a lot. There's an object here. Let's get money. All right. Nothing here. Tuxedo Junction. There is a signpost here which says, East beyond the tunnel, instant death awaits the, in the claws of dangerous creatures. North and West, a lingering death awaits through starvation. South, pretty pointless as this way blocked by Bill's... By Bill's Gate. Okay. So, we can't, like, it says we can't go, uh, we can't go east because there's, like, monster. Let's go west. This is the end of a disused railway line joining to a farm track to the north. All right, the note says, warning, trespassers will be hung, drawn, and quartered. Uh, okay, surrounded on two sides by high walls with a bog to the west, you can only retrace your steps from here. We got a Yale key. Rather ordinary looking Yale key. This object face value is seven groats, and someone has carelessly left it here. Let's pick it up. I don't know if there is a inventory limit, but I guess the only way is south. The building looks like an old railway signal box. Uh, there is a large lever on the outside of it marked Tunnel Lights. Operate switch. Alright, so I guess we can go east. Although there might be monsters there. Now that the lights are on, you can see in the tunnel. It is an old railway tunnel dripping with water with rats stirring for cover. There's all sorts of rubbish lying around there. Might be... Oh, there might be something useful. Most of the clothes. 
And I thought I picked it up. All right, clothes. Use a torn pair of jeans and a grubby t-shirt. Okay, let's use it. You put the clothes on, they smell terrible, but at least your modesty. So yeah, I'm, not, I'm no longer naked. Uh, the way is between hedgerows with trees cutting out the sun above. It is a spooky place as you fear attack by creature jumping from the bushes at any time. Uh, let's avoid that then. Uh, searching to the east as far as I can see, this was obviously once a Roman road. To the south, a large building. Okay. The character is there in the east. Uh, I, can, I can attack the trader. Uh, the trader is offering to sell you a U2 battery for 21 groats. I don't have money. Uh, electric battery will, which will fit your torch. How much money do I have? I accept. Uh, how much money do I have now? I only have four growths, okay. Uh, the trader is dressed similar to you and looks rather ordinary. I wonder what would happen if uh, I traded without clothes. So I feel like if I attacked, I would just die. Uh, to the west is a sign which says, Bill's Gate. Progress this way, barred forever by restrictive practices. <laughs> Even the soft lotus eater hasn't found the so soft key yet. And there is a slot in which it looks like it will take a 3.5 inch floppy disk. I don't have, I mean, I have a key, but it's not a floppy disk. All right. So I guess the only way is this way. Across the disused railways and electric fence mark caution. There's a mission. Oh, a missioner is offering to give you a torch. Okay. So can we use. Torch has new life, but the battery will eventually run out and it's not rechargeable. Oh, I probably should have saved it then. Uh, let's see. A uh, shimmering force field surrounds this junction. You pass easily through it. A sign says this is the only safe place for humans here. Appreciate it whilst you can. So I guess we can run back left and go back to the beginning. Uh, foot subway entrance. A battered sign says foot subway entrance to the Wailing Street. Let's explore this map first. There's a caution. Electrify 2.5 push up to turn on. So I think the I should use the letter here. Uh, this envelope contains your electrogenetic power pack free offer. So let's use. Uh, let's see. If you have waited until you have gotten the- Oh! I should have waited. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Uh, can I move back? Oh, the, we actually have a game map. Okay, we can actually print it too. Uh, second one. Okay. I should have saved, but oh well, it is what it is. Operate switch. Oh, that. Let's do that. The farm- There wasn't a monster here. Uh, the farm track ends in a sandwich between a boggy field and back of some buildings. So can I actually use the Yale key or... My stamina's going down pretty fast too. So can I use the Yale key? The Yale key does not work. Okay, so we have to go to the subway. Yeah, I, I can see myself like... If I had the time making different scenarios and actually playing through this, th this is pretty interesting. Uh, barely F-O-T up way of have. Okay. Uh, it seems ironic that this simile of a Roman road, that epitome of directness, is blocked to the west by Bill's Gate. There is a slot. Okay. So we just, we just went around, so we didn't need to go back. Okay, we just wasted some stamina for nothing. So where's the monster? Uh, let's see. Let's use the Yoki. It turns the lock easily. Okay. The Roman road continues east and west to the north road blocks. Uh, to the north road works block a road which is signposted High Street. Oh, so it is an actual block. Uh, it's impassable. 
Copy this. Pick up. So the Bill's Gate, maybe? Uh, printer number 3.5 inch disc labeled JCN Micro Hard Key Software. Okay, let's take this. Uh, so we can't, oh, we can't go back. I mean, I guess we can use the yellow key. It, it doesn't stay unlocked. So can we use the floppy disk? Hey, it works. The disk falls apart as you remove it from the slot. Oh, it's a one-time use. The yellow key isn't though. Here, a large sign that says Department of Transportation. Bypass opening 23rd August 2178. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should have done I shouldn't have done that. Temporary signs access to industrial. Oh, yeah, I, should, I definitely should have should not have done that. All right. You got a fencing sword. Let's use. So, I mean, it, it, it's something, right? Get another floppy disk. Sure. Got a box of baked beans. Uh, there are six tins of baked beans, but they will be nourishing. They will give you wind. <laughs> 50 groats. Let's use it because we're uh, the box of baked beans requires another object to be possessed so that it can work. Never mind. I feel like we're going to pass out with stamina. Uh, let's see. The weapons factory security gate, which is locked, but we do have a floppy disk. Oh, how to fight monsters. A yell key? Does not work. A closed gate. Nothing here. We got a development area key. Uh, Distressed in an Italian suit wearing dark glasses and answering to the name of Lombari. This looks like a man you would even not trust with a discarded beer can. Uh, let's see. Development area key. Let's try attacking. <laughs> uh, player attacks a state agent. Out comes a nasty little flick knife. You in the fight. Okay. You have still stamina I cannot move. Try eating or drinking, but we don't have... Uh, I think the game's over, because I can't eat the box of baked beans. So you have been quietly and bravely dying for a while. You slip away and peacefully into the oblivion, and your game is therefore over. Eh, nah. So yeah, that, that was pretty fun. We only got to play two games so, uh, in this video, but... Yeah, I can see myself just spending hours and hours upon this trying to beat at least the gates of Macro Heart. And then there's also the training game, which obviously I skipped. So I don't know if there's actually like a website to download additional. <laughs> I mean, this is the sharer version too, so. Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. So let's exit this. So we only played a droid, which was passable, I guess. And then Adventure Gamer. So, yeah, I really liked Adventure Gamer. I think it's one of the top ones so far that I've played overall. But, yeah, this was 1001 Games and More. We only got through two, but uh, I, I just got lost into uh, Adventure Gamer. So, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, where we go through more Windows games. Hopefully they will run. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.